Hello, everybody, and welcome to session 12 of The Last Haven. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Oh, my God, people are already quacking. I can't believe it. The quacks and chat. Um, just a heads up, just so you know, tonight is the uh, last session uh, uh, with uh, Ty's character for now. Ty will be rejoining yep. us, uh, but will be joining us again after uh, personal matters have been cleared up. I don't want to say what they are right. unless unless Ty is okay with me saying it. Because he is in the chat. Uh, so Ty is getting married. So I was about to say, I don't, I wouldn't. It, I wouldn't assume that was a thing that wasn't to be shared. Well, is it, oh, I, well, it, it well, is I personal it, information, though. and I don't. I want to ask Fair. permission first. Like by which? Yes, yeah, not going to be here until personal matters matters are resolved. By which we mean after he's married. Well, I gotta wait now. There we go. Okay, I can hear again. <laughs> His dragon decided to quack rave me. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, so yeah, so Ty is hey, getting. Look, I I gotta I gotta stick to my tradition. I'm sorry. Ty, so Ty is getting married, and so uh, he is uh, taking a leave of absence for now. Uh, he will return. Wedding planning is a bitch. Yeah, wedding planning is a bitch. <laughs> it's it's a lot mm -hmm. of work. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. So everyone, clap. Woo! There we go. And uh, yeah, we will return Ty to the void. Ah! <laughs> to the void with you. No, oh, hey, I have been finished this issues. time. Oh, I can access actual book <laughs> versions of my shit now. That's good. Okay, so um, in the last session, you guys managed to save your deity from. Uh, complete annihilation My specifically yeah your deity specifically from complete annihilation uh you guys have had a long rest and during that time you have noticed that your goddess has not healed at all during this time in fact even if you have managed to try and do healing spells um it has not worked you have not been able, been managing to heal them at all and in fact it's getting worse the blood <laughs> and everything escaping from the body has started to dry up and the life from <clears throat> the life from the uh the eyes have started to fade away um raven roll me a yep. constitution save oh boy this has been fun uh uh, you managed to save. So uh, everyone Pretty else, dead. everyone else, I need you to roll me a constitution save with disadvantage. Uh, okay, give me just a second. Yep. All right. Fuck. Oh. All right. Yeah, I'm not halfway like that. All Just right. Start. Constitution save at disadvantage. Yep. Jesus Christ. The, the nat one from uh, Matt. Oh, boy. This ability is worse. Oh, wow. Almost the exact same role as Tamubu. Uh, okay. So, uh, everybody, except for Raven, uh, starts to feel at, uh, an, a really uneasy queasiness from them as uh, you hear the sounds of gurgling and laughter underneath it. Like, they're gurgling yogurt while laughing uh the goddess herself 
Her arms start to shatter into multiple pieces, splitting off into different arms, more arms. So she has like five sets of arms. Actually, wait, how many sets of arms? I need to look at the these, the, the picture that I got made. One second, one second, one second. I want to make sure I, I got this right. Four sets of, five sets of arms. I was right, okay. I was right. I was right. I was right the first time. Okay. So five sets of arms. The arms start to melt away and become a skeleton. And the face, the skin starts to droop down and the eyes to fall back into the skull. It gets up, starts to float, points directly at the party with each each individual hand pointing at the army. And all of a sudden, you feel a deep and utter uneasiness. Uh, yeah. So, what do you do? I start slowly backing away to the to the to the door that we started from. I proceed oh. to throw up. I mean, okay. <laughs> no, don't make the noise, please. Please. Oh, no. Anyone else? Boo Boo, Raven? Oh. <laughs> Kind of eyeing it and paying as close attention as possible right now. Um, I want to go ahead and do an Arcana check. Sure. Just to see if I can figure out like the origins of this and what the fuck. Yeah. Digital dice don't fail me now. Oh, nice oh. twenty. All right. At 20 with that zero uh, skill modifier. Yeah, what does it matter? Natural 20. Still pretty good. All right. So you can sense an intense, extreme uh, amount of arcana coming out of this body. Is And you are not really arcana proficient, so you don't can't tell what kind of arcana it is, being a barbarian. A 20. I think it's a miracle. Yeah, but also remember, I also am a um, uh, Janai. Right. Or okay. Genasi. Right. Okay. No, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Okay. Sorry. Um, you. Yeah. The the energy that you sense is like the c same kind of energy you would feel if someone were to resurrect like a necromancy. type of magic um as marshall <laughs> begins to leave the room um the room itself begins to mold and shape around and the door that you are walking towards as you are running closer and closer to the door the door is getting further and further away from you uh <laughs> The all of a sudden the room starts to warp and change as you're like moving around. It starts to melt in places and and go, and then all of a sudden a flash of bright light, and you are transported. Ah, giant bird! Oh lord, giant bird! Giant bird. <laughs> oh, God. 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 <laughs> You are transported to the ether. Oh, God <laughs> damn it. Not again. Like, specific. Oh, boy. Remember how this in the last. Again. Remember remember in the last session when we were fighting and I didn't say, how do you want to end? How do you want to finish it? Oh, boy. Yeah, you're right. You did. <laughs> you were just kind of waiting for me to make the hit. Yep.
Uh, you hear in the distance the sound of uh, Drizel screaming and the sound of flesh being ripped apart. All of a sudden, Drizel's crystal starts to float towards the, the center of the ring. I'm just going to use Drizel's character for this because it is easier than me. Oh, fuck, I can't even do that. All right, this is the crystal. <laughs> oh, boy. Random green circle. Yes. The crystal floats here, and it lands. It starts floating oh. above the, uh, the, char the, the, the creature directly in front of you. It creature picks up. They picks the crystal up, grabs it. And, like, the, the crystal grasps uh, grafts itself to the to the hand of the of the uh of the creature go away <sighs> power well, I sure wish we could call the the, the guy power <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> roll initiative. Yeah, that was coming. One second, let me remove everything first. Oh, there you go. ignore that. I didn't do it right. Uh, Ty, you're not dead, just so you know. There we go. You're not dead. I'm just using your absence as a plot point. Just just so you know. You fucking killed me off screen. I mean, fuck. <laughs> I mean, listen, it just cause Ty's like, bye, I get, get fucked me. And I'm just like, no, please. <laughs> get fucked me, I guess. <laughs> Don't tell them. I'm telling them. Giselle is fucking dead. <laughs> All right. No. No, you can actually hear... Oh, my God. I hate this keyboard so much. You can actually hear Drizelle, uh screaming still. <laughs> oh, that's reassuring. I don't need that open anymore. <clears throat> okay. Oh, um, I should probably have mentioned this earlier, but uh, mm -hmm. for reasons you'll learn, you'll figure out in a few minutes. Uh, I need you to make a second token for me. You're supposed to give me the tokens to put on screen. I I know, but here's the thing. Uh, you already have it. It literally just needs to be a second version of my token, but, like, noticeably different somehow. <sighs> Which one is you again? I can't keep getting the two of you mixed I'm, up. The one, with the, the one with the red outline. Okay, the red outline. Okay, because you're both kind of red. I mean, taboos is like gold and red on the outline, but I'm gold. Yeah. All right, I have an idea. I have an idea. <laughs> I have an even better idea. Don't. There you go. You have <laughs> perfect. Yeah, perfect. It it it's just ignore it over here for now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Invokes duplicity. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Uh, okay. Let me let me write down some. Let me uh just make sure because with Ty being gone, I am gonna make it a little bit weaker than it was. I thought Ty was gonna be here today. I think that that should be good enough. I think that should be good enough. I think you guys can handle that. I thought he was too. <laughs> All right, we're starting off with the uh, the character 
the uh, thing in the middle. You don't know what this is, by the way. None of you rolled. Oh, Tipu, oh you know what? Arcana check with 20. Uh, Tipu, -boo, it's a lich. Ah. Uh, oh, that's great to know. Um, uh, that was for taboo only. You're not supposed to respond, sir. Shush. Out of character, I'm responding, but that, you know. <laughs> I'm just, I know, I'm just being funny. Out of character. Uh... Mm, to be fair, we uh, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to to not be able to tell what a lich looks like. It's a, oh, if you want to see what the man. character looks like, this is uh, the character. Oh yeah, that that's pretty lich like. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it looks like a zombie. Son of a lich. Uh, okay, Tububu does a twelve hit you. No, it does not. Oh, good. Second attack. Uh, I'm pretty sure a four doesn't hit doesn't hit Matt. Uh, does a sixteen hit you, Dragon? Nope. Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, I guess you take five does. damage. As a firebolt re comes out of its one of its many hands. And last attack. Uh seventeen to hit you, Raven. Doubt it. No. Okay. Alright, that's his turn. Actually, you know what? He's gonna move here. All right, Matt, show him what a wizard can do. All right, so I hold up my staff, ready myself to miss my forty-six Eldritch Blast when I quite <laughs> when I when when I just when while I'm holding it up, I'm just like, you know what? <coughs> Fuck this. From the, from the from the end of the staff. It emits a, it, from the midst of the staff, it starts cackling a black energy. As it courses through the staff, as it courses through the staff, it comes into contact with me, close my eyes, open them up, completely black iris, completely black irises. And within the circle behind him, I pretty much scream, all right, fuck this. And then, and then cast quickened and powered fireball. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, it's going to be flavor text to just be like, like, uh, uh, have you seen Naruto? I've seen, I've seen yes. Naruto. Uh, Sasuke's fire ability. Oh, the fireball jutsu. Yeah, okay. No, not the lightning shit. Yeah, oh, the fire, fire jutsu. Fire. The black, the black yeah, fire the black or, fire. oh, Amaterasu. Yeah, okay. Flavor text. The fire is black. Yeah, you got a problem with it? What, yeah. you no, I really don't. Fire? I don't think there's much to say. It's an RP thing. It's flavor, whatever. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This thing is massive. I have to put it at the back of the room if I don't want to kill us. Yeah, 20-foot yeah, well, radius. This is why is while Ty was playing D&D, &D, I kept yelling fireball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey Ty! <Yeah>. Fireball! <laughs> right, so it just has to do a, a DC 16 dexterity roll. Dexterity roll, huh? Is that for half damage or yes. Yes. Uh natural 20, so yes. Half damage, got it. What's the damage? Because it didn't roll damage. Roll the damage on it. Six plus charisma. So roll that. And then I missed it. Well, I was streaming at the time, Ty. <laughs> uh, not you can unmute, yes, but we're you're not in the game just yet. Oh wait, no, I have to do eight d six plus charisma. I'm sorry. Just roll another four d six.
No. Matt, well, you're only taking the first five of that. The first four, because you already rolled four. Yeah, so 12. I mean, that's still pretty good. That's yeah. 12 plus 16, plus his charisma modifier, which is five, apparently. So 21. Oh, wait. Also, I have to add the fucking points from empowering it. Hold on a second. Okay, so for spoiler value, yeah, that is 33 damage before he adds the points. But you're halving it, so. Yeah. Oh my god, using empowered, I can re-roll these two ones. Maximum of one. Unless you want to use more than one sorcery point. I'm using more than one sorcery point. So you're yeah. using three? Because you have you're using one for quickened and one for empowered. Yes. Okay. That would put me down at two sorcery points. That actually no, it puts me down at three sorcery points. Sorry. For a half damage yeah. attack? That's such a waste of, of sorcery points. I mean. Yeah. You do my math on this. Eight. Well, it is already 26 and 13, so that's 39 damage. So... 39 damage half, so realistically 38 damage half. Uh, God, my math sucks. <laughs> it's 19. 19. That is 19 damage. All right, minus 19, thank you. Okay, cool. You used up three sorcery points to do the same amount of damage that Tabubu does with a basic attack. <laughs> he's all he is also you yeah, but he also did that is also a bonus action. Instead of fucking did. missing. There's also a That's bonus fair. action he just did, so he still has an attack. No, his attack was the fireball. Well, no, that's the thing. The quickened spell thing turns the action into a bonus oh, action. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Because I'm thinking that I can do something else. I can't just yes. do fireball twice. No, I mean, you probably could. <laughs> no, I have I went to multiple D&D servers, and they were just like, oh. okay, quick, no, quicken fireball, and then fireball is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up, but is it illegal? I mean, you could do it. Illegal. It's it's they decided they they all decided DM's discretion. Go ahead, but that's if you want if you want a double fireball at like you. I mean, double fireball. At, yeah, you can. You you just spent half of your sorcery points to do that. And I'm that, just and and, and I'm also a thing. I'm also saying sure, do it. But then you're like using up like all of your spell slots. But yeah, go for it. I'd be using, so using all my third level spell yeah. slots, which is, yeah, that which is only two. Yeah. Are we really going to deny? Are we really going to I'm deny? Not deny I'm not denying. I'm not denying it at all. Spellcaster, their fireball. No. No, and honestly, he just drop them both at the beginning of the boss fight at a point where he can't AO us, AOE all the melee guys who are in the middle of this fight. That makes sense to me. <laughs> Yeah, don't I know what else. A, mm -hmm. Don't know what else he's using his level three slot song. I remember in a different campaign, we got fireballed once, and our pet Sturge died, and so my one ranger warlock friend circle of death to the entire room and got rid of everybody except the main three guys. All right, call, cast whatever that you're doing brilliant. there, uh, Matt. If you're doing another, if you're doing another fireball, then yeah, I'm doing I mean, it again. Cast, uh, I need you. To, I'm, I'm going to do it again. So right. you're going to need to roll that DC 16 deck save a second time. <laughs> is it a nat 1? Another nat 20. This is another nat 20! This dice oh, is okay. cursed! Yeah, I, call I mean, hacks. cursed towards us anyway. It's definitely a blessed dice. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's blessed for him. <laughs> yeah, but it's cursed yeah. for my players. But it's the fact is that he's the DM, so it's cursed for the rest of us. Yeah. Anyways. So yeah, uh, roll that damage again, which she did. So that's 38, half, 19 again. 
It is the secret DM dice, I know. But I am being honest with the rolls. Like... Yeah. So oh, then... 19 damage like again? All right. You were lying. Yeah. So he total... In total, he's done 38 total with the fireballs. Okay. I Put almost fucking said how much health he has at the end of the fucking thing. I yeah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, so after... So so now that we've calculated, I want to just do a little much more, more fluff just for the, just for the content. Sure. So within the back of the... So within the back of the room just a massive explosion of fire of black fire mm -hmm. erupts the entire like it almost looks like a wall of flames and it's just like jesus I was like jeez where has that been back this whole time and i look inside and i'm just like wait a minute i'm gonna do it again i know it's like this is awesome and fuck eldritch blast Difference is Eldritch Blast is unlimited. <laughs> this one you got two. <laughs> that was weird. I had my turn. Okay. Uh, you're up. Taboo. Uh, oh wait. No, it's Taboo. Boo. It, are you sure? It is me. The three. Yeah. Mouse oh, over, and it will be a. Not. What? No, I'm staring at the Wait. at the current order, and it very much looks like the next one should be Dragon. Wait, what? How did they do that? I don't <sighs> know. Oh, it is Dragon. Okay, there we mind. go. Why the fuck did the turn <laughs> order change? I don't know how it reversed the three of us specifically, but it did. Okay. Anyway, Dragon, you're up. Mm. Hmm. Uh, well, let's see. Anything I can do before running up to this motherfucker? Rage. Rage. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's that would probably be wise as a barbarian. Nah, I, th I thought it would have been stupid to do that. Anyway, sorry, sarcasm aside. <clears throat> Angie yeah, Otter in rage. Yes, we rage. And then we fucking go straight up to the motherfucker. No, nothing. We, we just walk it up menacingly. Walk it, we Who's rage. Smoking. Mm -hmm. He no longer has a wolf to ride on. <laughs> yeah, god damn it. <laughs> Lost his mount. Wolf friend, no. Well, shit. Uh, so, the wing. Swing. Yeah, we uh, we're we're gonna swing. You're gonna reckless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. Because yeah, why the fuck not? I mean, I can think of several reasons why not in this scenario, but, um... Uh, the 18 hits. Alright, and then that's going to be... That for damage, plus... My Divine Fury for being a Zealot Barbarian. <clears throat> Which is 1d6 plus half more barbarian level, which half of five is two and a half. We round down, right? To two? You round down to two, yep. Okay. Just, just making sure. Yep. And to specify, because I have a choice of either necrotic or radiant, I'm going radiant because lich. Mm hmm. Okay. But wait, there's more. There sure is. We're level five barbarian. That means I get extra attack. Also, did you rage? He did. Yes. Yep, yes. He's raged. Uh, before that, before you do that, though. Uh oh. <laughs> there's a reaction. There is a reaction. Yep. Uh, you're gonna take three points of necrotic damage as your sword 
hits the target and like its blood like like comes out of it and pour like pools on you and as it's touching you it, mm. you, it kind of burns okay it, it makes a loud hissing noise as it like lands on you all right so three points of necrotic <laughs> <clears throat> Damn it. Well, actually, it wouldn't be three points. Oh, he's it raging. It'd be one point. Yeah. Wow. Raw for anger. Mm -hmm. Too angry to die. Literally, a zealot <laughs> barbarian. Anyway. <laughs> Because I'm resistant to everything besides psychic. Oh, I'll write that down. I mean, that's common knowledge yes. for a barbarian. Uh, he is he is a fighting type. He's weak to psychic. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is true. Pokemon knowledge here, people. Anyway, extra attack, also reckless. Okay. Yep, 25 hits. All right. For 11. Ooh, that's a lot more. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine damage now as the uh, necrotic damage hits you. Nine? Yeah. So, okay, so that'd be four. Four. So remember, you have five necrotic damage in total. Keep that in I'm mind. About to... Keep that in mind if you ever get healed. Hold on, <clears throat> hold on. I, I got, I got an idea for this. Just give me a second. Yeah. So how how much in total for the necrotic? Uh, you're you have five necrotic damage. Five. Yes. Okay. I now have a second bar on my fucking character. There we oh, go. that works, yeah. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, sweet. Guys are doing great. Uh, you're up, uh, uh, Raven. Yep. Um... Um, <laughs> it was being quiet. Yeah. Wait, why am I eating chips? I have rice. Fuck that. I want my rice. Mm. Made delicious garlic rice. It is now now the raven. Yeah, it is. He's trying to decide on what he wants to do. It's undead. Yep. What what more info do you need? It's I undead. Don't. Make it more dead. Okay. Uh, run up. You're a cleric. Wow. I mean, I, I have that one. Want, there's that one thing I can do. However, wisdom also, save. Surprisingly enough, most healing spells clerics have don't actually work on undead. Yeah, that. No, it's not. It's not, like not like Final Fantasy reversing thing. Today. It's not Final Fantasy rules where you could use a revive on something and kill it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not necessarily a, a holy cleric either. I'm a war cleric, <laughs> so. Anyways, so, uh, you still have channel divinity. I do that. I can use once per day, and there's a, wis a, l a relatively low wisdom save for a lich. Yeah, that one. Anyways, uh, aside from that, as I'm running up, 
an exact copy of my character pops up directly opposite him. Okay. And I will just drop the whole thing for that on the... Oh, God! It's a long, it is a long bit of text. What the but fuck? That's that, a literal wall of text! Yes. There's a lot of text on that ability. Uh, long story short, it, there, it is a, basically a clone of myself that I can utilize. It's an echo. In various oh, ways. Echo yes. <laughs> so... Not that it matters at this very second, but there's two of... Actually, yeah, sure, it matters. It, it will matter in a few seconds. So I'm going to roll an attack. Okay. Here we go. That's a hit. 11 damage. And... Yeah, they, there's a necrotic thing coming. I already know that. Yeah, you take 10 points of necrotic damage. Christ, 10 points of necrotic, eh? Yep. Right. It's 2d6, and you rolled two fives. Okay. And I am also... <sighs> I'm also going... To I use that this turn. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I, I, I was hesitant for a second. It's like, wait, shit, if this counts as a bonus action, it won't work because I used my bonus action to summon it. But it doesn't specify that it's a bonus action. It just says I can do it whenever I take an attack action up to three times a day. Uh, uh, so there. You wait. We go. You could use a bonus action to ma magically manifest. Manifest it. it. That's not the ability. I'm talk. I just popped up a second thing. <laughs> whenever you take this attack action, take the attack action. You can take one additional melee attack from the Echoes percent. Position. Yes, okay. So it's literally so I'm basically pincering the thing. Uh yes. anyways. Uh yep, that's it. Anyone to hit? Well your echo's about to die. Yeah, because this only got one HP, yeah. so Yeah, so it, it is what it is at this moment. It it's it, it's gone. I'll I'll yeah. move it over so here. So it just pops, it disappears on it, but the dude's just like, wait, what the fuck? The second me just popped up and punched the guy in the face and then disappeared. Minus 11 and minus 10. All right. All right. Man, if I didn't have enough attacks already. Are you doing anything else? No. Okay. Uh, no, that's going to be it for this turn. <laughs> okay. I, I used my bonus action up to summon the echo in the first place. So. Boo, 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 you're up. My turn. Run, rage, hammer. Sounds all right. I like it. Don't fail me now. Nope, you failed. <laughs> ah. But you don't think the necrotic damage. Damn. So, got that going for you. Do you have a second attack? Is your fifth level? Yes. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I forgot. <laughs> uh, Damn. Crit fail. Roll me a d20, please. Oh, God. No. Why? Why I do you want a second attack. I'll be use it. Shit. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> Why? Why? Why roll a d20? Because I have a crit fail chart to use. You don't have a crit succeed oh, chart, do you? Yes, it's called automatically hitting the target <laughs> and, and, doing and doing double bonus damage. damage. Yeah, <laughs> I've it, never once done double damage. What are you talking thing? about? Even though I've crit, even though I've crit on like fucking, I, I you do like max damage with the crit, and then I ask you to roll again. You roll your damage twice yeah. in that scenario. 
And it's like, haha, double damage. That's cute. Now, if only I had ever critted an attack this entire fucking campaign. <laughs> I roll high for the most part. The downside is I don't crit. Uh, Tobubu, you dropped your weapon. You have to use your movement action to pick it up. Oh, okay. Yep, that's that's what it says on the chart. Hey, listen, yeah. you got it all for easy. Be being a half orc, if I ever actually crit, I get to roll my weapon's damage die again on top of the double roll. Oh, this because is racial ability. This is awesome. I was hoping you guys would surround mm. him. I was hoping for this. Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> We're the melee crew, aside from Matt, so it, it, it was going to happen. Yeah. All right. Uh, I need <clears throat> Raven. Dragon and Tabubu to roll a dexterity saving throw. Uh, oh boy. Hey, we get we get this at advantage, right? For me and Tabubu? Do you? Do you have advantages on dexterity saving throws? Danger sense. Can we see this coming? Uh this is I sure. Roll it again. He's gonna say no. <laughs> He's not saying no. Sure. <laughs> Guys, I want a campaign to come back to. <laughs> well, Dragon's fucked. Fuck. And Tabubu's <laughs> fucked. Tabubu didn't roll at advantage. The, no, he rolled Tabubu, once. Roll that, a se roll that a second time. He did already. He you, rolled you once, and then he rolled a six. Oh, he, oh. oh, oh a yeah. Six, okay, and then right he rolled there. it again for a seven. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. All right. So Ooh, it means Tabubu are 22. fucked. 22. Woo. Woo, plays to his best friend's strength. Woo, fair DM, woo. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> what do you mean, playing to his strength? What are, you what are you talking about, fuck you? You're fucking me every day, dude. <laughs> I mean, or every time we Every time we have a session, you're fucking me. <laughs> well, listen here, if you fucking roll better, it's not my fucking fault. Don't blame me. I will, I will. Well, it's not my fault your, your fucking dice rolls suck. I'm not, I don't have control over your dice. I'm not weighting your dice. False. <laughs> you hack. You 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 use the money you were would have bought. You would have used to buy Gray Zone Warfare, and you paid off the guys at uh, Roll Twenty. And we're like, here, here, here's here's thirty dollars. Fucking make it to where I can adjust my my players' rolls. I'm not even Roll Twenty Premium. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> A likely story. <laughs> Uh, we don't need to know what you guys do in bed. Uh, yeah. Listen. I'm just an otter, okay? And I'm just an exhibitionist. <laughs> Whoa. Talk about a free show. All right. Yes. Each of the hands raise up into the air and point at the two of you. Uh, well, the three of you, but Raven dodges. Raven. Yep. You take... One point of damage. Woo! Because it's half damage. Y'all were worried. Half damage for the win. I mean, regardless of taking half damage anyway. To, yeah, that's, that's fair. Listen, you guys are raging. So, to Boo Boo and Dragon, you are taking 16 half. Eight points of damage. Half again, because you're raging again. Half damage because... Yeah, half, half, de no, no. They failed no. the save. Right, they failed. Sorry, I got confused. Yeah, they, they half. So, right. eight damage, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> never mind, right. Okay. Okay, that's it. Uh, It has a second <clears throat> action. Oh, boy. Action number two. Uh, does a 26 Ugh. hit your AC, Raven? Yes. Okay. Does a 26 hit your AC? We're level 5. His AC is like 23! 21. 23 if I cast the fucking shield oh, spell. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> the 26 hits. Uh, Meanwhile, me and Taboo are just sitting here like, 
Bro, we only got 14. The fuck? Ew. Back of the whole of justice. Uh, four plus six, four plus six, ten, twelve damage. You take twelve points of necrotic damage. Boy. Uh, it fired a bolt of necrotic energy into your chest. Ew. Uh, How much was that again? Twelve points of necrotic damage. 12, 1, 2. Yep. Oh, that's 22 points of necrotic damage against my 41 HP. That, that, that's a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and, uh, that's a lot of health I can't heal. Woo! Now for the bonus action. Oh boy. All right. It has now split into four parts. That's it. It is now Matt's turn. So now it's in four pieces, huh? Yep. Sorry, I just have to consult my book of my mysterious list of spells that I have access to. I cast Magic Missile. Solid choice. It's a good choice. Three glowing darts, 1d4 plus one force damage to its target. Darts all strike simultaneously. You can direct them at one hit. So I have to roll 3d4. Which one are you attacking? Or are you attacking individual ones? I'm tagging this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Shall I roll three D4 or one at a time? One at a time, please. And roll 20 will show you what all of them do. Or any, I bet. Oh, I guess it would do that, but yeah. Uh, I've, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Uh, four, one. That's not the one you were attacking. Whoop! Oh, sorry. Four, one, and two. Okay. And then I move closer to the party and end my turn. One second. What what the fuck? Get me back here. Get back here. Okay. Gilbert, you're up. I added too much garlic to this. Now people are gonna say it's too there's no such thing as too much garlic, but this is really garlic. It's actually burning. In fact, such a thing as too much garlic. It's just it's burning my mouth. It's just a lot. Yeah. It's burning my mouth. Add more rice. Uh, I'll pass. <laughs> I don't want to use more rice. Extra starch is great for diabetes. Money, by the way. 
Well, I guess I just fucking rinse and repeat, but I gotta pick a fucking target. Yeah, the problem is, is that the bag of rice that I that I buy, because I buy like really yeah. special rice, costs like twenty seven dollars. Uh yeah. So I don't want to use more rice and then get full and then have to throw it out. All right, well, we're just going to go attack this motherfucker. And we're still raging. Yep. Reckless. That's a miss. There you go, that's it. Okay. So <clears throat> that's twelve. Add in the Divine Fury. Seventeen total. Okay. You. Hey. Oh, actually, no, nineteen because that's it's not dull. calculating the rage. Yeah, dear. It it doesn't matter. It fades into re out of reality. It like pop. Did you hit it? <laughs> and it like pff, disappears into a puff of smoke. Mm. Nice. Me. So magic doesn't actually dissipate the clones. Interesting. No. As far as you know, no. Thank you for the follow, friend me. So that that's that's all I can do. Okay. Uh, Raven. Yeah. So, gonna take my bonus action again. Summon the echo in front of this guy. Okay. And I'm just gonna use the use the attack my attack through the echo. Okay. I am touched by your support. Hey, thanks for the follow. 18 is a hit. 18. Okay. Does 8 damage to it. It doesn't... It, it takes that damage. Uh-huh. That's all. That's all? Okay. <laughs> I, I I was waiting for the second half of that, the nope. necrotic damage and all of that. Okay. Nope. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, let's see. An action surge and attack through the thing again. Okay. Well, that's great. I said it earlier, and it finally happened. So, what's uh, your max damage, Raven? Uh, max stat. Well, the damage on that sword is one d eight plus five. Uh, so yeah. max damage would be thirteen. Okay. Well, that's it's gone. All right. It could dissolve oh, into I a puff of smoke. Didn't get to use the thing with it. Uh. So on top of all of the damage that that would have done normally, I did oh. also have that. So I overkilled the living shit out of it. Yeah, you've, apparently. You've, you've beaten the shit out of a, a, a smoke monster. I, I vaporized the smoke monster. <laughs> 
I just remember lost. All right. <laughs> a little bit. I remember being lost. You remember being lost? I remember being lost. I'm still lost. That's used for the day. All right. Well, that's my turn. Okay. Tubu, so, you're up. I am. Look at me. Look at me. I'm up. Okay. Wait. What the fuck? Ping everyone. Focus, ping. Uh, where? <laughs> where the fuck is he? Uh, he's up here. Oh. Up here, okay, here. and there, down here. Here. And here. And the other two got poofed in, out of existence already by me and Gilbert, so. That's all right. Swinging on the boy. That is miss. Of course it is. Secondary swing on the boy. Gonna miss. That's a hit. Marginally better. Fuck <laughs> yes. Finally. Jesus. Oh, wait, Marginally better and just really enough. Is that, oh, okay. I was gonna say, is that all the damage you do? <laughs> Five piercing and six blunt. All right. Okay. And uh, yeah. That's it. Is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. All right. The one at the bottom is going to target Matt. 17 plus 2, 18, 19. 19 to hit Matt. What's my damage? How many? How much damage? Oh, I'm hit. Uh, twelve damage. Twelve necrotic no, damage. Twelve damage. Twelve necrotic damage. Twelve damage yeah, you can't heal from. Damage. Yeah, that's it's great. I love that love that damage type on my thing. What Matt? Ow, I've taken twelve necrotic damage. Okay. Uh second attack from the top one. So we'll attack to Boo Boo, just whacked him. Uh seven to hit your AC, I doubt it. <laughs> my AC? Yeah, seven to your AC. No. Uh, and then bonus action. Uh, Raven 22 to hit. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, you take six points of necrotic damage. And that's his turn. Matt, you're up. What's that? I love being health pools. I well, let, let's just say I've got more necrotic damage stacked up against me than I have health left. <laughs> and you can't heal necrotic damage. You cannot heal it. No, I know. I I I'm love being a Matt. cleric. No, I'm telling Matt that. Yeah. I, I love I, I didn't know I couldn't heal necrotic damage. Nope. Yep, that's the problem with it. It can only be healed by a long rest or by a very specific cleric spell. I have to look that up. All right, well, I'm going to be like, oh, 
this damage feels like it's it's hurting my soul more than it's hurting my body i must uh i must ensure that i don't fucking die it's a good thing i don't have this demonic voice talking in my fucking ear anymore now i can actually focus on saving myself I cast mirror image. Okay. Uh. Oh yeah, I remember this spell. Okay. I'm just from D and D What the fuck? That's an official. What? D and D Beyond thinks like, I'm googling necrotic damage and how to recover it to find out what that spell is. But according to D and D Beyond, necrotic damage does not have any special rules, and you can heal from it normally. That's the first time I heard of that. Yeah, same. That's why I'm just like that doesn't sound right to me. But uh, I know you yeah, take that, that and spells sound right. to like I mean, yeah, exhaustion. typically, typically necrotic is just enough. Other damage type, but there is also the rule of DM says so. Yeah, so, if the DM says you know. so. So on that rule of DM says so, what's that cleric spell you're talking about? I thought it was the, the it. uh, b -b 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 it's a faith spell. I know it's a healing faith spell. Uh, restoration. Uh. Uh. One second, I need to figure it out. Lesser restoration, or is it a uh, just normal restoration? I think it's restoration. Okay, I think it's restoration. Lesser or greater? I'm assuming. I want to say greater. Uh. Or is it rejuvenation? Lesser restoration. You touch a creature and can end either one disease or one. That condition one. Of that is it. Yep. Yep. That it is, is it. restoration. Yeah. Lesser restoration. That's it. Well, the condition can be blinded, deafened, paralyzed, or poisoned. It used to be... It used to have the effect of getting rid of the... Getting rid of the effect of necros yeah, I uh, guess necrosis. Necrotic, I yeah. guess necrotic damage doesn't do... As a 5e, doesn't do the same thing anymore. Which kind of sucks, and i kind of going to keep it that way. Yeah, so we'll just pretend that's still the case. Yeah. Is Roll DM, DM says so. Yeah, DM discretion moment. Yeah. That's how that works now. Just like how by rule of cruel in uh, in another campaign, I would have been able to conjure a rock in someone's mouth and use that to blow off their jaw. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That is a thing that has happened. I just realized that this dice that I have, this dice is fake. Huh. I'm going to throw this dice out after this. This dice. So the dice, this D20 has the 20 in the wrong spot. It's, oh. it's shifted one number to the left. Weird. So you were using fudged dice this entire time? I mean, I guess. It's still random no matter what. It's still rolling the dice. but It's just not the way that it usually yeah, is set up. Yeah, and it's supposed to be... The, the 20 yeah. is supposed to be on the opposite side of the, of the 1. Yep. But, but this is shifted 1 to the left. By the way, I'm, I'm looking... I was looking up the spell, and uh, I, I do not have the ability to learn it just yet. Oh, Okay. It is a second level cleric spell, and I've been focusing a little much on my fighter levels, so I, I don't, don't have, have my second restoration. I don't have second level spells yet. Because he, he he's he's a fighter and a cleric. I, I am I am level two cleric, level three fighter. Yeah. So I've still only got my first level cleric spells. Barbarian. So if I cast lesser restoration on myself, do I get to heal myself normally? You would heal yes. you would heal your necrotic damage, yes. Heal the necrotic damage or heal the necrosis so you could heal normally after? I would allow you to roll for healing. 
Okay. Yes. Raven. I mean, honestly, I've got like 28 Necronic on me right now. <laughs> so, um... Would you like for me to give you the touch? If you, if you could heal that and allow me to heal myself, that would be amazing. Because I can run up to... Uh, hear me out. I can run up to spell. you. I assume this is you, right? Yeah, I'm the... No, with the red outline, I'm, I'm over here. Okay, well, I can walk up to you, and then I can burn two sorcery points it's to cast actually... Quickened Lesser Restoration. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I run over to you and be like, don't worry, I'm not crazy. Just just give me, give yeah. me your hand. But you, you do the thing that makes it so I can heal now. Yes, I'm doing I'm doing it RP style. So I'm like, give me your hand. Yep. And then once that you then you feel the necrosis, the, you feel the necrosis fade away from you. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, now that you can be healed, are you able to heal yourself? I am a cleric, so yes. Uh, I'm going to have you heal. When you do that, I'm going to have you roll 4d6. Me? Roll 4d6? Yes. Yep. Do I do I have to add modifiers or nope, is it just forty six? Just raw forty six. I regain nine health. Yes. Okay. It's already putting me up back up to half. So. And then. Because, and because that was a bonus action, you still have an enemy. Thing. To who? Because to who? I. I mean, that... You've healed my necrotic. You could literally use your action to do literally anything else, because I can heal as a bonus action now. You can heal as a bonus action? Fighter fighter uh, thing. I, I have the ability to do that, yes. Second yes. wind. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. It, until it's not, cool. because it eventually it just becomes fucking worthless. <laughs> yeah, yeah. because yeah. it's, 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 it's basically a... Uh, it's basically the... Uh, it's it's a light healing spell effect. Yeah, but then it, like at like sixth level, it, it it you would you have a better chance of just healing yourself by beating the shit out of the enemies than actually yeah. using that as your action. Yeah. It's it's a one d ten. Well, I mean it's a one d ten plus my fighter level. Yeah, but so one right now it's one d ten plus so three. Worthless. Yeah. It's still better than nothing in the middle of a thing when I don't have life steal or anything. Hey, Netbanger, how you doing tonight? Okay, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use my normal action because I'm still technically holding your hand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Enhance Ability, granting you bull strength. The target has advantage on strength rolls. Oh, that's... Okay, I guess he can grapple. Does Full that... strength not just technically temporarily boosts my strength anymore? On strength checks. Yeah, just strength checks. Just, it's just an advantage on strength checks. Yeah. That really yeah. doesn't do anything for me attacking. I'd, I'd have to be grappling somebody. Isn't your attack a strength thing? Yeah, but it's not a strength yeah. check. It doesn't boost my strength per se. It, it just gives modifier. me advantage on strength checks. Yeah, so if you had to roll no, a it doesn't roll, affect my attacks. Headbutt. Yeah, if you had to roll, yeah, if you had to, if you were rolling unarmed headbutt, then you would be rolling a strength check, but a yeah. attack roll is not a strength check. Okay, alright. Yeah. Uh, I mean, actually, if as far as I remember, if you're grappled on, an, if you're grappling an enemy, then you will have advantage to hit them, right? For so then you have advantage attacks, to yes. grapple. Okay. Yes, if you if you if you grapple someone which you would have advantage of because you were because you have that boost in strength, then you would have advantages for unarmed strike on the target as well because you are literally like MMA fighting this motherfucker. That is hilarious. All right. Okay. All right. That's fair. 
So uh, I'm just running down the list of things I can do because Jesus Christ, I have spilled you have a balls. you have a full action left. You could yeah. honestly like snipe a motherfucker with magic missile just all three rounds into one guy's chest. Yeah, that that, that, that that's <laughs> at the bottom of the list. We've reached yeah, that, the bottom of the list. Yeah, that, that, that's basically missile yeah. this guy three times. Yeah, yeah, that that's basically yeah, exact exactly dragon. Dragon just used the gunshot sound effect in my stream. So Bang, we, bang. Uh, we don't know which one of these liches is the real one, do we, right? No. Alright, then I, I wouldn't put which, which I wouldn't lich is put, which the sandwich. Which lich did you shoot? Which lich did you shoot? Um, but you know, eight, if you're gonna use thing. magic missile that's if you're gonna damage. use magic missile, then I would recommend putting, you know, one on I mean, one and two on another. I, I almost, I, I, I'd very much like just all three of them going into the one taboo was already hitting. Oh man, meta gaming is real today. <laughs> Sorry, I have I have this thing called I'm very bad at minding right, my business. Let, let, let's rephrase that. He already did the thing. Now we're just talking about about pros and I mean, you're after right. the fact. So are you done? <laughs> he already your, did the are you thing. done your turn? Do you have another turn thing to do, Matt? I moved, I did a bonus action through sorcery points, and then I did magic missile into this guy three times. Which one, sorry? Oh, I, was... I looked away for Wait, a second. Damn it. Eight damage into the one that Timbu already hit. Okay. Well, he only had four health, so <laughs> he's dead. Well, that answers all go. of our questions. Yeah, Please well, there's only one of them remaining, the so... Room. Hey, Gilbert, you're up. Yeah! Uh, three point left. I, I'm i just rushing over here. Mm -hmm. Angry Otter does the Angry Otter thing. So, Reckless. Miss. Miss. Damn. All right, fuck me. <laughs> I'll pass. All right, Raven, you're up. All right. Um... <sighs> Time will be right back. Okay. <clears throat> Gotta use the bathroom. You have to wait on my turn. Use my uh, full uh, movement. Uh, Go uh, down. Uh, follow as well. I'm going to use second wind. Now that I have for the bonus action here. You're gonna move into them, then at, then second wind, which will cl clean up your action. It's a bonus action. Oh, is it a bonus? Okay, I thought it was a full action. No, it's second wins a bonus action. Never Hang mind. On. I was just like, <laughs> okay. Well, I only I only got five HP out of that. That that's okay. That's fine. Whatever. I'll take it. Oh, Raven. It's fine. I have multiple other healing things. I Every can do time too. you roll that fucking, <laughs> you roll that healing, it does nothing. It for does you. very. Yeah, me healing myself is always a low roll somehow. Anyways, I'm attacking him. No, 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 you're not. Obviously, not gonna fucking hit him. I pop a war priest. Uh, of course not. Wait, roll it, Raven. Roll me well, a d twenty. Uh, Oh, ho, ho. six, you say? One second, let me get it out of the book. Ah, oh, my phone! No, oh, damn it. Priest charge well, that phone's thing. there forever now. I'm never going to use that phone again. Six is something we haven't done before. Interesting. Okay. Raven, you are cursed. 
Roll oh. me a D100. Remember how I said I wanted to try this out? This is kind of funny. Oh, boy. Well, I wrote down a bunch of these different things. Uh, I wanted to try out the thing where uh, the guy from the other campaign was like, every time you laugh, you take 1d6 damage. But... Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, no that 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 that's 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 uh, that's good for them. Cruel and unusual. Raven, oh, that's a friend group thing. That's like we don't have Chuckles the clown here. Yeah, Raven. Every time, uh, every time you move a square, you're taking one point of damage. Okay. The effect lasts, lasts uh, till the end of the campaign. The end of the session, sorry. Not the campaign. I was about to say... Yeah, like... I was about to say, dear <laughs> God. Only, yeah, it, only, it, it, only, it, only in combat. I, will also, I, I was about to ask. ask. Does the rotation <laughs> of the Earth count? <laughs> I mean, considering where you are? No? <laughs> That's fair. I was about to say, like, there's an in combat attached to that sentence, right? Yes, yes, yes. Because otherwise, oh boy, I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I'm sitting down. Fuck you. Right? Just go, go for a walk and feel your life drain <laughs> away. It's like it's like in the end of Kill Bell when she did the five five point heart explosion technique. <laughs> you might as well just permanently shit yourself for the rest of your life. This is, this is where I live. I just sit on a toilet, and I <laughs> I live here now. Okay. Uh, is that your turn, sir? That is my turn. And hang on, so let me just count this up for a moment. Uh, so how do we remove curses? Okay. I mean, there is my a... general assumption is that you wait until the end of the session. I mean, you could either do that, or I think there's a remove curse spell. There is, but you had to have had that prepared. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, that one. All right. So yeah, uh, I, that was my turn. I, I don't get to fucking do anything. <laughs> uh, well, now we gotta wait for Tabubu. So everyone, just cross your hands and. Cross your arms yep. and wait. Just sitting here measuring the measuring distance because I'm just like, oh no, my my echo stays where it is because it's not further away than thirty feet. Do copyright strike. Right. Whoa. I still Your singing was way too good. I find that hilarious that the game drums got hit with a copyright strike because they were playing the Jeopardy game and they had the Jeopardy theme in the game and they got hit with a copyright strike because of it. Because the, the Jeopardy theme is copyrighted. Yeah. That is phenomenal. Yeah, that sounds as fucked up as I would think it would be. I mean... I mean, the funny part is that the Wheel of Fortune theme is in the Wheel of Fortune game, and I never got hit with copyright on that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, never played. That I game. like to. I like to believe that people that aren't famous enough can just get away with that. Pretty well. No, that's not entirely true. I get copyright strikes for background it's... noise in Final Fantasy all the time. You have a hater in your audience. No. Because it there is kind that's of not like how, a, that's not there how is the, kind of like the whole thing. That's not how the copyright system works on YouTube, man. <laughs> what? So really, just Square Enix is just sitting there all day, all night. No, it's automated. The entire process yeah, is just... completely automated. Yep, that one. Yeah, when you upload when you upload a video, it scans through your stuff to make sure that it's not copyright. Yeah. Yeah, that one. It does it pretty quickly, but then it goes, oh, 
by the way, we might still copyright your video, depending. So, uh, hold, wait for it. Yeah, like that. Yeah. There's a there's a reason why there are a lot of YouTubers that are like, yeah, I, when I record videos, I upload them private and leave them private for weeks before releasing them, because if yeah, they, because like, oh, the company, I leave I leave them. No, it's like I not only do they leave them uploaded for weeks, they leave them uploaded on a separate channel. Yeah, that too. For weeks. Yeah. So that if if the channel does suddenly get whacked by a copyright strike because of it, it's not their main one. Yeah. Huh. I'm too lazy for that. I mean, well, it, it the difference is you do that if your content requires using shit that you think might be copyright. Or if you're, you're just using there. If you're just using your own recorded stuff and, like, the audio that YouTube lets you use copyright-free, you don't necessarily worry about it. Doesn't mean nobody's gonna fucking try, but... Yeah, it's like, I, I can't. I cannot tell you the number of, of copyright attempts that uh, have been on, like, Ixie Studios videos that were, like, convention hopper things. Oh my god, dude, that convention hopper series is fucking cursed. <laughs> right? Like, some of them I understand. Sorry, what's convention like, hopper? Uh, it's the series we used to do where we went to anime conventions, recorded events and such, and did, like, videos at conventions. It, yeah. It, uh, it, it is effectively dead currently because we're not going to anywhere near as many conventions as we used to for reasons. But... Also, we got blacklisted from one, and that affected our standing at a few other ones. Wait, you got blacklisted? blacklisted. Was it against Anime North? Yeah, yeah, it was Anime North. Yeah, okay. Why and so, how? Uh, so we got blacklisted specifically as media from Anime North. Like, we can still attend. And we've done game show stuff for them since then, too, but... uh. The reason we got media blacklisted at Anime North was because uh, one year, like they, oh, Taboo's here. Yep. One year uh, when we were at North, uh, they updated their uh, media rules to say that, you know, you shouldn't just uh, record a panel. But, like, that was, like, our entire thing. <laughs> So we asked, yeah, that's it. and they said, yeah, you can still do it. That's your thing, so we get it. All right. I see. Non-damage. Yeah, so you can do it. Okay, cool. So I went and I recorded, like, the usual set of panels, and specifically I went and I recorded, like, the Japanese guest that year's panel. I don't even fucking remember Who's who it was at this point. But nobody in the panel said anything. The Japanese guests didn't say shit. The their translator, their handler, none of them said anything. But like weeks after the convention, after we'd uploaded the video of the panel, we got a sudden request to take it down from their management company, which we did. We do that. That is just a thing. If the person in the video doesn't want to be in a video, we take it down. We're not assholes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I mean, the next year, we applied for media, and we got denied. And we got told, because we have friends higher up in the convention, that it's because we were blacklisted, because we recorded that panel. What the fuck? Yeah. So, they got shit from the yes, management company. Because that wasn't supposed to be allowed, and then we just took the fall for it, so. Cool, I... Dragon's dragon has made me deaf. <laughs> <laughs> dragon has. Right, so this guy. Dragon, ah, dragon, God, I've been shot. How many too. fingers am I holding up? Dragon has. Dragon has. WTF bombed me again. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Well. All right. Tubu's turn is done. So now. Boop. All right. Let's try and get this going, so I can get so I can get Jay into the campaign here. Yep. Yeah. All right. Because of that, we're gonna get him in, and we gotta finish up so I can go. It's only ten thirty. We've only been playing for an hour. Uh, 
hour and a half, but. Uh, Tabubu 15, does that hit your AC? Yes. Okay. Wondering if an overkill will remember that my AC is 13. An unlucky AC. Uh, I thought you had an AC of 14, just like me. Uh, four points of damage. I have an AC of 10. You're also a spellcaster, so you're going to be hanging out in the back anyway. Yeah, that's fair. But still. Not, not, not prone to too much aggro. Yeah, that's uh, fair. However, why, it is why still like, pretty funny. Why I, yeah, it's also why I like cleric, she because it can be a spellcaster that is armored. Yeah, uh, yeah, but it is still pretty funny. Like, there is squishy in the sense of okay, a marshmallow, so, and then there is squishy in the sense of water, Matt, and I am you're water taking, right now. You're taking yep. seven points of damage. Who taking seven? No, se Matt taking seven points of damage. Oh. Everyone you else, everyone else he missed. You asked Taboo what yes, his Yes, I already gave, oh. gave him his damage. You weren't paying attention. Oh. Fair. Wow. Everyone else he missed. Moving on. Matt, you're up. Well, that, uh, that, uh, seven points of damage really fucking hurts. So I don't want to just die in this corner here. So I'm going to cast Lesser Restoration on myself. Pretty sure that just heals status effects, technically. These are all necrotic damage, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, fair. Yes. Your necrot... Yeah, your necrotic... The, the necrosis heals, but that isn't technically healing spell inside of that. <clears throat> no, no I, I, I let you heal with it as well. Yeah, if you're hit by the necrotic necrosis, yeah. But he did take some. Yeah, exactly. So it works in this scenario. Like I said, it's not technically a healing spell outside of this specific scenario. Didn't I currently take 19 points of necrotic damage, or is it normal damage? You had necrotic damage. Is what I'm saying is you could heal 4d6 damage. All right. I did the same for you, and Raven. He, yeah, I know. Like I said, outside of this specific scenario, yes. it's not technically a healing spell. It, no. In this one very specific scenario, it is. Yes. <laughs> Stop confusing me. Anyway, end my turn. Oh, okay. Gilbert, you're up. Gilbert. <laughs> Deploy the VTubers. You like that? <laughs> the VTubers will never get me. The, the, the VTubers will get me. And I'll, and I'll never know because they can be running at me right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> Gilbert, hello? Dragon, hello? Dragon. These nuts. Uh, oh, of course. Because what would the world be without these nuts jokes? Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to send him gifts until he comes back. <laughs> I... I was here. Uh, you weren't talking. I said it's your what? turn. I forgot that my microphone was flipped up because it's still picking up noises. I didn't. I haven't heard anything other than the occasional television going off. The yeah. Extremely occasionally, your TV will be like hit that one frequency where I hear like someone say bananas or something in the background. <laughs> 
Well, you're just going to sit here and do the usual. Yeah. Roll it. That's a hit. There's and then gotta get twenty one. An extra six on top of that. That's twenty three actually. Fifteen plus, plus six. Two, plus two bonus from rage. It's not calculated into that. Oh. Okay. So yeah. Both. 23. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is that it? Of course not. I'm a barbarian at fifth level. I got an extra attack. Yeah. Crit. Oh, do you? Oh. Oh, do you ever? <laughs> All right. What's your max damage? Crit. 2d6 plus 4. That's going to be 12, 16. Add an extra 2 from Rage. Yeah, so 18. Uh huh. All right. So, how do you want to do it? <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for this. So, <laughs> th this is actually. Perfectly placed, too. So I'm going to swing the first hit. Using that momentum to bring myself all the way back around, I'm going to jump on top of Raven, bouncing off in, on top of Tabubu, and then bringing the attack down onto the damn lich. Okay. You managed to do all of that. And you split the lich completely in half as it falls to the ground. It chuckles and like crumbles down into the ground as like a pile of dust. And out of the dust, you see a uh, a crystal sitting there. What color was Ty? That crystal what, up. what tie what color was Ty's crystal again? I don't remember. Uh. I had blue, to boo boo was, was brown, Ravens was red, uh, the, Matt's was yellow. Color supposed, aren't our crystal colors supposed to match our borders? Uh, or, or, at very le or at very least the color immediately next to our names on Roll20. Oh, uh, well, yeah, but they're, he's not here, so. Yeah. Also, quick question. Do you have Dave, do you have ceiling hooks? In my house? Yeah. Um, maybe? Why? I need one. For what? To hang up a thing. You're not making a sex <laughs> swing in your bedroom. <laughs> no, that's 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 <laughs> too weak for a hook. <laughs> First and foremost, you couldn't oh. use the drywall-mounted ones for that. Uh, <laughs> I have, yeah, I have like, seen what really? happens when people put weight on those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I kind of need... That's a whole-ass setup. That's a whole-ass eye hook that needs to go into the fucking choice. I, you would have to ask Dad, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know if... Also, I don't know if he wants to put floors or holes in the ceiling, so... <laughs> I mean that's at least an easy patch job. Yeah, it's like it's so, like a small white screwing. It, it is honestly no worse than uh, putting hanging up a picture frame. No, I'm just I'm just hanging the bug zapper on the ceiling. Uh, damn, he didn't write down the color of his crystal. I'm going to well, say it was purple. The same color as the border of... Yeah. I'm going to say it was purple because the coloring on the border of his profile picture is kind of purpley. Okay. So as a spellcaster, I, I I feel like we're glossing over the moment that uh, Dragon just said that he picked up the crystal. And oh, as yeah. a spellcaster, 
who just watched the barbarian pick up the crystal that dropped out of the dead lich. It's a little purpley, <laughs> right? I'm a, I'm a step the fuck back. Like, looks sort of <laughs> like, looks sort of like grayish lavender. So yeah, I would say purpley. Okay. Uh, no, nothing actually happens. Okay, cool. Like I realize it was Ty's crystal and all that, but I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Bitches. <laughs> as uh, but as you pick it up, the ground around all of you starts to crumble and crack, and you guys start mm. to fall, fall and fall and fall into like a black abyss. It doesn't matter that crystal's not leaving my hand. Also, I have something for this. Uh, sure. That feather that, fall that is about to come out. I don't know if it matters. It won't matter. Okay, then I won't waste a slot on it. Uh, you guys appear in the center of town. These guys are gone. I haven't. I, I guess they did. Roll twenty didn't didn't update with these things being deleted. Uh, and I'll just move Ty over here and put him on the GM layer so that no one can see him. Oop, there we go. And I'll go back and go pick up our bird friend. Because we're about to be introduced to our little birdie. Yeah. Not map layer. Nope, nope, not map layer. That would be that would be token layer, please. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. Uh as you guys are falling and falling and falling, uh, you guys see this bright light. And as you as you as the bright light gets closer and closer and closer, you fall deep into uh into the light, and all of a sudden the light starts to fade and you are I'd say about 50 feet above the city falling okay now we'll no the, yeah matter. oh wait the, just wait you are falling uh, uh, from the city and all of a sudden you can see that there is a flying creature above you and this this creature reaches down, swoops down. It's about like fifty feet in length, the wingspan, and it reaches down, grabs onto you, grabs like puts you on its back, and drags you down to the ground. You are now safely on the ground. That's good to know. Uh, when you eventually land, this bird-like creature uh, touches the crystal from uh, from dragon, and the crystal embeds itself into this drag into this. Did I say dragon? There's dragons here uh, into this bird, and it starts to morph and configure itself, and all of a sudden, it becomes. The character that becomes we know. A bird man. It becomes the person that we know now as Hail Crow. That's his name. Right, so we're calling him Crow. His first name yeah. is Kale. So Yeah, but fuck Crow Kale. it is. Fuck Kale. <laughs> 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 No, no offense to my Canadian friend named Kale, but um, yeah, I don't even call him Kale. I I call him Cabbage because that's how I met him. It was Cabbage Man. Okay. So yeah, uh, fuck Kale. We're not we're not calling you that. Well, you have a friend named Kale, and you want to fuck him? (sighs) (laughs) 
you know, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna make I was gonna make a comment. And I'm just like, nah, it's just not even worth it. <laughs> it's just not even worth it. I don't think I will. Uh, uh would you like to introduce yourself to the group, please? Yeah, I'm just going to start by saying that they seem to have gotten some pretty fortunate timing with whatever that was. And that typically, you don't go skydiving unless you can fly. Uh, and I'm just going to sort of, I don't even know, do birds do handshakes? I mean, no. Are no. Yeah, I'm an Eric. Or- I'm an Eric Orca. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm. I'm just gonna say hi. My name is Kale. I do magic. You guys look like you probably also do magic. Are you reinforcements Apple from is. the first from the plot guy? You reinforcements from the king, or I'm reinforcements from I feel like being here. Oh, I see. Does the does the plot guy know that you're here? What or... plot guy? He the king. <clears throat> do do I know like, this? Are you story? are you from here or were you sent here? Uh, do I know? I'm this not story? from here, but I was not sent here. His... I I wasn't dragon. sent by anybody. He I just was. Came he's from the like same it. area that Ty is from. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what What brings you here? Studies. Oh, uh. This being my hometown and us having been here for the last little bit, I don't think you're going to find much to help you there at the moment. Oh, um... Oh, everywhere helps. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, Raven, your hometown has been restored. Oh! Well, never mind then. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. I'm an idiot. Yeah, that that's important information yeah, that I, I would have liked. I was, I was I a that. little busy with the stu- starting getting Crow introduced. There. And then you mentioned, oh, there's, like, there's nothing here. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, right. That shit. Uh. All right. Well, I'd say, and I'll reword that. I'd say there's not much here to help you with that, but stares around at the people wandering around. Oh, yeah. Lots of people. I obviously things have uh, changed from when we first got here. Even if it hadn't, frankly, going anywhere can help with magic. Even if everybody there's dead. Especially if everybody there is dead. Yeah. Oh. We've had a, a bit of an experience today. I take it that I only saw a part of it. Yeah, the ta- the tail end of it. So, just eyes, the gem that's now inlaid in this guy's hand. Yep. Just don't suppose you understand the significance of that. Yeah, no, I really don't. I think it's Go ahead the, here. I think, uh... I'm gonna I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a good look at it and I'm trying to pry it from I, his hand. How would I Not roll yours. Arcana? Uh on your character sheet, click the word that says Arcana under skills. Alright, great. Uh also it, unclick the thing that says advantage and go over to the thing that says normal right at the top. All right, let's see here. Where does it say advantage? Like the purple buttons at the top of the sheet, both the right below your character class and name. Let's see 
here. Uh, oh, always roll advantage off. There we go. Okay, here we go. It's been fixed. Normal. Eight. And that's okay. I'll leave the. Uh, and... I'll, I'll, you can have the Arcana roll that you that you used. It's twenty one. The first one. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, so, okay. do I know what the heck I'm looking at? You know that this is a extremely powerful magical item. But it is now embedded into your skin. And I mean, like, the only way to remove it is to cut your hand off. Considering the fact that... Not that the otter isn't trying. Not that the otter is definitely not trying currently. Yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to rip it out of his hand. You're just scratching and the I, shit I'm, out I'm just of him. repeating two words. Not yours. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh... Yeah, no, respectfully, I get that you guys need this more than it needs to be attached to my hand, but I have a feeling that my hand needs attached to my body more than you guys need to be the one holding this. So I'll stick around with you guys if you really want me to. But I'm keeping my hand. That's the deal. Gilbert's not paying no attention. Just, he's still struggling. <laughs> Stop hitting. Stop scratching me. <laughs> All right, then. Great. Let's see here. I'm going to check through my cantrips real quick. <laughs> uh, so this is exactly hmm. what I was trying to avoid. The whole, the whole, we don't trust him, kill the new guy. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not a complete jerk. I'm just using mage hand. Okay, okay. I'm just using Mage Hand <laughs> to like He's catch grab his stuff. hand the next time that he, <laughs> yeah, just catch his hand the next time that he reaches for mine. He's gonna grab just, the scruff like, of uh, Mage of... Hand, high five him as no. a distraction. No, no, no. I have a better idea. You're gonna grab the scruff of the back of his neck and hold him up like a kitten. <laughs> yeah, but you're forgetting the fact that Mage Hand can only hold ten pounds. Listen, I'll DM it. It's fine. Because right, it's fine. funny. Because <laughs> it's funny to just have mage, mage hand hold them up like a cat. Yes. Mage hand hold up raging otter. I'm not even raging. It's just... <laughs> Sorry. Very angry otter. <laughs> I mean, sure, but... Again, I'm, I'm not that, mad at this present moment. It's just... Yeah, uh... That's, that. Not yours. I'm sorry, what part of not yours, 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 <laughs> not yours sounds happy. Yeah, me, I'm like, once I saw it embedded to his hand, I was like, well, looks like you're on your, you, you well, uh, you're, you're getting into your right hand off. officially is your call to adventure. You're part of us. We'll figure, we'll figure out your backstory later. I want to go home. Yeah. But so you guys have a choice now. You guys can go find an inn. You can go and uh, do other things. Do, do we like have a way to communicate to the plot guy that the thing is dead? No. I have a message spell. That's not going to work. Yeah, that, that's a little complicated how this works. Like, I mean, in past, we've like joined the fucking crystals together and it's fucking communicated shit but do you yeah like the first time he just showed up and killed the boss for us the second time we killed the boss the portal opened so now we're on this third time we killed the boss and new party member and nothing. do you not remember how you guys got here no yeah through the portal the sky no Ooh. portal through, remember, you guys went to hell first, and then yeah, that came one. here. Yeah, through this portal to, building right do, here. You guys need to do some investigative work to find your way back. This is a puzzle. Full investigation. <laughs> sure. Ah! Uh, fuck. <laughs> I was not ready for him to roll a crit. 
Neither was he. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna DM, referring to me. I'm gonna DM uh, a thing to Tabubu, and he has a choice of telling the group or not telling the group. No, this only this only applies because he rolled a crit. Oh yeah, what in general are we investigating? The, nothing, because he just said a role investigation. Yeah, that yeah, that was it. It was just it was just I I happen to get it. You have a choice now. You can either A tell everyone this that I told you, or B let people figure it out. Whatever fun whatever's funnier I for you. I kind of want to let people try and figure it out. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, hang on. Da, 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 da. Insight, insight, insight. Insight on what? Insight to tell if I can figure out that he's hiding something. I don't want to know what he's hiding, but I want to know if I can tell that he's hiding something. No, you can't. You 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 can determine nothing from his in, from his insight with a seven. Okay. So, anyways, moving on to this sort of uh, thing. So, um, Brock is gonna move back over towards. Uh, is gonna start walking back towards the. Uh, the building where we fell through the floor into that labyrinth. Yeah, which is where you are now. Yeah, the number 12 there. Yeah. It's walking back around to that to kind of investigate, because he knows things look like they've gone back to normal, but well, we're kind of short a person who didn't get teleported back with us. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. Roll I me, guess I roll in, yeah. Roll investigation oh. if you are actively looking for something. Uh, Raven, you find that the ground here is really dirty. No, uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's not a one. It's not a one. But uh, <laughs> what you have determined from investigating is that the area that you're in does it looks exactly the same as when you left, except for the fact that there are no zombies. Okay. And no, like, summoning portal, and no beam of, of green energy into space, and all that stuff is gone. You, th This is actually the, like... The actual town. The actual town, yeah. There are people who are living there. There are, like, you walk around, you can see that there are people actively living your lives. It's about 11 a.m. So it's almost noon. You know, people are actively walking around doing their jobs and walking in, uh, uh, walking in and out of shops and stuff. But that's about it. Does it even look like anything ever happened? From... Your perspective? Uh, no. From our perspective, though. From your perspective, it looks like there are a lot of people on edge. On edge in general, or staring at us and on edge because we just kind of fell out of the sky? Staring at you guys because they don't know what, how the fuck you guys were falling out of the sky. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fair. Hmm. 
I guess my next attempt of to do anything is to see if I can find a town guard. Uh, yeah. If they're not already headed towards us, yeah, a bunch of people guards. just fell out of the fucking sky. There are guards heading towards you. There are. There is uh, a well. There like, they are. Small platoon of guards. Uh, oh, small platoon, you say? Okay, can I see them? And are they within 120 feet of us? Yes. Okay, great. Let's see here. I'm gonna throw this in here. You point your finger towards Go the creature within range and whisper a message. Tell them that we're good. The target and only t the target hears the message and can rely reply with a whisper that only you can hear. Uh, uh, so I'm going to use the message cantrip, and I'm going to ask them if we did anything illegal. Um, you are technically trespassing. Okay. There. I'm going to, I'm going to, like, I, I'm going to, like, my you guys character, know that we probably yeah, leave. My, char my character steps forward towards the guards. Okay. The guard is like, this thing. My hands, strongly hands, hands, hands up. Hands up to per show that I'm not a threat. I put my hands up. I'm going to follow suit. I'm going to, wings in yeah, the air. Just, just, <laughs> and I will, and to to the head, to the got to the guard who appears to be in charge, whichever one that may be. <laughs> yeah, there's a there there's obvious there's, there's a, a very there's obvious, a clear captain. Yeah, there's a clear <laughs> okay. There, there's six of them in total, and there is a clear yep. captain of the guard. Yeah. I apologize for the sudden appearance, but we are here on behalf of the king. Oh, hello there. And kind of gesturing the hand with the gem in it. Uh, we've been expecting people like you. <sighs> All right. I don't know if that's good or a bad comment, but... Um... All right, here's... here's Nobody the... expects people like us. Here's the deal. Uh, well, here's well, they the... kind of do in a sense. Here's the deal. Either you come with us or we can arrest you. Take your pick. Come with I us peacefully, or we arrest you. Them nicely. I'm going to go work. I think we go. I say we go. We'll come with. We have no reason to. We have no reason to assume anything's. We're having. We've had a bit of. We've had a weird day. But we're just. We'll come with. Okay. You guys. I, I'm going to. I'm going to agree to come with, but just for the sake of fun, I'm going to wonder in my head a little bit just how likely I would be able to fly away if I wanted to. With your strength score? <laughs> and also Three, thinking five, about, three, like, what five, sort of eight. air defenses they might have. But, wow. you know, 15 insight, I'm thinking about it. If I wanted to, would I be able to? Uh, it would be it would be advantageous for you to not do it. That's fair. That's fair. They will not hesitate to shoot you out of the sky. Yeah, there there was also a wonderful. There was also that comment I said rather loudly. We're here on behalf of the king. Oh yeah, no, he heard you. Yeah, so yeah. that if that affects your uh your thoughts on the matter then yeah yeah i mean yeah, yeah after he said that if you fly away then they're just gonna then you're just fucking us all over and you're gonna get shot yeah yeah just the thought so yeah we go with the girls <laughs> all right yeah uh yeah he takes you to the portal room I think it's down here. I make it one. It's one, right? I, it is one. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, I think that's where you had us. Like, I can see on the. I can see the on the side. Night. It says portal room one. Yeah, well, that's portal room. That's the portal room where we showed up. Yes. 
You're going down here to to one. That's where you're oh. going. Oh, they just took us straight to the fucking portal room. Yes. Not the guardhouse. Not the guardhouse. Okay. All right. Grok is going to follow them without questioning it too much, but he's just going to seem a little confused as to why they came there instead of the guardhouse. Is there any, anyone else? I, I wasn't aware that I'm able to... Oh, right. Am well, I able to... You should be able to move your character. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. Oh, no, you can't. One second. There, now you should be able to move it. Epic. I can move. I believe I can fly. Okay, so you guys make it to the portal room. He, uh, As you open the door, you see that there is a... You see that the obsidian pillar that you, you, that, that you originally got here is still here, and it actually is... A lot larger than it was when you showed up. Oh. Wait for. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask you what is very joyful about large obsidian pillar. It, it, it was the whole thing a couple sessions ago. Don't worry about it right now. <laughs> oh, boy. Looks like that's our ticket out of here. Thanks, guys. Rather that not be our ticket out of here, considering. So, I guess at this point, Grok's going to look over at the captain and ask, like, why they were brought to the portal room instead of the guardhouse. You were brought here because this thing here appeared about simultaneously after you guys have appeared out of the sky, tearing this place apart. You can see that, like, the ground where this pillar has come out of the ground is, like, ripped like a huge hole in the ground. It's, like, ripped the, the, the concrete apart. And considering that the two of you appeared at basically the same time, I'm guessing that this is your fault. I wouldn't say our fault. Definitely not unrelated matter. Yeah, our guy kind of does have a good point there. Uh, you know, involvement doesn't immediately mean blame, sir. And you guys did mention the king earlier. You are very yeah. far away from the from the from the uh, from the the entry portal. How did you get here? I flew. It is it, well. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know how to... We have had a very strange day or so. We... I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, See, this is the part... Uh, we, arri we arrived here to us. We arrived here a couple days ago through this portal. But there was something wrong with the city as if nobody lived here. And then after dealing with a magical anomaly we came across, we just found ourselves falling from the sky into, and you know the rest. All right. Well, all right. Do Actually you... kind of surprised this pillar would still be here. Uh, I mean, it just appeared, like... Yeah. You're not from... 
around here, are you? I'm from here. The rest of my compatriots are not. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So you're telling me that this is not your fault? No. It's somehow related to the magical anomaly we were dealing with. Not 100% certain as to how it appeared or how to even deal with it beyond that. Mighty fine craftsmanship, but not mine. Hmm. Right then. Well, uh, okay. So you don't know, you wouldn't know how to remove it then, right? Because it is kind of destroying this place. Blow it up. We I are... mean, I, I can roll something to see if I know how. I doubt it. Uh, you can try. Roll Arcana. What would I even roll? Roll Arcana. Arcana? Okay, well... No, I definitely don't know. You have Here, let me uh, let me no. the archive guy. Roll. You would not. You would. You know, even if you were oh. to roll, you would not know what this is because you're not from here. You don't yeah, know. I'm just like blown I mean, up. You, giant you, pillar of obsidian. You, 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 it does have magical properties. That's all you know. All yeah. right. All right. That's um, for, for the second time in two in two sessions. No. I don't know. No, you have no idea. Like at all. Yeah, I love. I love how your <laughs> your checks to know things have been zero. <laughs> yeah, my checks to know thi on whether or not I know shit over the last couple sessions have all been crit fails. So, uh, I'm, I'm just over here on. being uh, <laughs> oblivious. I I'm gonna have Gilbert just kind of like nonchalantly lean against the fucking obsidian pillar. <laughs> I, I'm I'm over here like paying uh, I'm over here like Steve Rogers in the first Avengers movie. It appears to run on some kind of electricity. Ironically, if I still had a third level spell slot, I could cast. I could try. I could see what dispelled magic does to it. I could fireball it. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be a great idea. I said blow it up like six times. <laughs> Fireball. I mean, if, if, <laughs> listen, if, 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 I guess, I guess, honestly, if you guys want to do that, I'm not going to say no. No, you know I've, got a better, no, no, no. I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea. I have a first level spell. It, just, it takes an hour to cast. God. But let's see here if I can double check this. Uh, the fuck is it? It takes an hour to cast. Uh, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, but considering what it is, it might be able to bring in some outside knowledge. Well, uh, if you have it in your uh, sheet, then just kind of click it and post it in the chat so we know what you're talking. Yeah, about. here. Well, that is. A you wall thought of that text. the other one was a wall of text? Yeah, no, fine, familiar. Uh, it takes an hour to cast. Of a familiar spirit that can take the animal form you choose. Blah, blah, blah. Familiar has the statistics in the chosen form, though it is a celestial fae or fiend. I roll six fudge dice. See, I don't even know what that Acts means. Independently of you, but it always obeys your commands. In combat rolls its own initiative and acts on its own turn. A familiar can't attack, but you can take other actions. When the familiar drops in one way, it's in 100 feet of you. You can communicate with it telepathically. Can't have more than one familiar at a time. Finally, when you cast a spell with a range touch, your familiar can deliver it as if it, it had cast the spell. No, that's not what I wanted. I want to roll. I want to roll. Oh, you're, you're thinking you could. Uh, there we go. Summon. Either like a celestial, a fae, or a fiend, and have like that Ooh. level of expertise, hopefully. Not like have that level of expertise, but like if we can get like say a celestial in on this, then we could I see if they know anything. I feel like a celestial is not the choice to make, all things considered. That's fair. I, I uh, feel like a fiend 
may actually have the best option, cons all things considered. All right, all right. Shall we sit down considering for that we do, and... I mean, it's, it's not a whole lot else happening. All right, great, great. Uh, well then, I shall cast... You gonna say Find anything familiar. to people around you before you actually do that? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna flop down here for an hour, and when I'm done, there will be a toad, and the toad might know what's going on. And I will not give any other context. I eat. At this point, I've kind of just like sat oh. myself down. What the fuck do you guys do for an hour? Pillar. Yeah, everyone takes a short rest. I guess get you heal up a little bit. And... I guess the guard is just like, the fuck is going on with these guys? <laughs> That's a good question, sir. Yeah, I said blow it up. <laughs> Man wants to be useful. I'm only good for hitting things. A couple abilities that come back because short press. Well, no, I'm also good for being thrown too. I I'm I'm a weapon myself. That's fun. Okay. Weaponized mammal. Hit yeah. Back. yeah. Okay, well, I get four HP back. Oh, weaponized darter. As, as always, my healing rolls are shit. I Anyways. Mean, as the cleric, rolls bad. <laughs> For healing specifically, everything else, I roll decent. Fucking anything that relates to healing. It just fucking nope, nothing. All right, well, everyone, roll your hit die. Yep, me and Matt have already done it. Dragon taboo. Roll your hit die and get that much HP back. Okay. Fuck. Um. Ah, there it is. At least you guys get HP back. I mean, you still got HP back, just not. I did. I got power. four. I got. I got four. That's that's a thing. All right, well, an hour passes. All right, spell has been cast. All right, great. There is now a frog on the ground. It is technically a fiend. <laughs> technically a fiend. The frog but, fiend. But to you guys, it is a frog. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm just, I'm just going to, like, you know, look at it and ask, there's a pillar... We don't know what the pillar is. We don't know where it's from. We don't know what it's here to do. All that we know is that there is a pillar, and we would like to know more. Roll investigation do you with know advantage. More? <laughs> All right, epic. <clears throat> so I'm, <clears throat> I'm at full health with <laughs> that fucking necrotic damage still. Cool. Oh. Yeah. All right, 21. Uh, yeah. Frog looks up at you and goes, it is Pillar of Obsidian. It's been here. It, it was summoned here by a demon. It, Say I, like a frog. This is the frog. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Summoned by a demon. 
Rivet, 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 demon, rivet, 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 pillar, rivet. I love how the rivet. frog knows no English words <laughs> except for demon. <laughs> and pillar. I'm clipping that, actually. Pillar, rivet, rivet. Rivet, 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 demon. <laughs> rivet, rivet, demon, rivet, rivet, pillar. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, he, uh, tells you, with it. he tells you the, uh, that it was summoned here by a demon, a demon of immense and intense power. Uh. There are more than one of them. Uh, there are, there are a uh, total of six in total. Oh, I, all right. I don't know where they are. But I know that there are six of them in total. Ribbit. Ribbit. All right, epic. Uh, now Three. I'm going to ask the frog one more question. And that question is, would you rather me dismiss you forever, dismiss you to a pocket dimension, or let you hang out on my shoulder? This is for uh, the frog to decide. What? I'm not your frog. You're you you. Listen, I'm only here to give you information. It is your fucking frog to do with what you want to do? <laughs> so I am right, not going to DM control this frog. <laughs> I will take a d6. Oh, I just dropped my. I just dropped one of my dice. But. Here I have. Please don't add more a, work to me. <laughs> I have a D6. Because I don't know. Don't worry. I won't add more work to you. You know, I'll just have the frog sit on my shoulder. There you go. Frog on your shoulder. A, you, have, you now have a frog familiar. on my shoulder. You, you, you now have a frog, Ribbit. Now I just got to look up frog stats. That's also apparently a demon. The demon frog. Yes. Demon frog. Yeah, but it has the stats of a frog, so... Yeah. Alright, so... Did it actually say that out loud, or is that telepathically communicated? Which is That was telepathically part. communicated, so yeah, I'm so gonna you let have you guys to... know. There's, there's some really big bad guys that are demons, and there are six of them. And that's all that we really know. Frogs say six demons or six pillars? Six demons. But there might also be six pillars. I did I did never mention six demons. I mentioned six pillars. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say oh. it. I I think I misinterpreted then. <laughs> yeah. There are six so, pillars. Alright. Then we definitely have to fight. Then we probably have to find the other five were there. The guard. Um, you know of any more of these having popped up? No, but we could definitely search around the city and see what's going on. It might take a couple days. Yeah. I'll tell you what. We should get started. Don't leave town. Definitely won't. He points you in the way of an inn? Yep. For you guys to to go to. Tells you guys to stay there and don't make mischief for yourselves. Okay. Sounds like a deal to me. And that is where the session ends today. Yay. All I right. assume in means long rest before the next session. Correct. I'm just right. gonna go ahead and all of my shit back up to maximum for it. All of and the churches back. I guess I have a frog familiar now. I will put a thing of a frog stat block in the in the group chat. There. Yeah. Hey, Bert Gaiman, thank you for the follow. I like that your frog has more armor class than you. <laughs> 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 uh, I mean. It's a, it's a fucking frog and it has 11 AC over a yeah, human. AC is 10. 
And thanks for the Prime sub. Thank you very much, Bird Game. What the heck is going on with my mouse? All right. So, go. everybody, thank you all for watching today. Uh, don't forget to check out the channels in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next in the next session where we actually get to play with Jay. Yeah, where Jay actually yeah. gets to be part of this. I'm sorry I didn't have enough a lot of stuff written down for you because yeah. again I wasn't expecting you to be in the session and also at the same time I wasn't expecting time. Yeah, it was kind of a, it was kind of a last minute thing that yeah. Uh, we got told that Ty wasn't going to be playing with us for the time being, and we needed an extra person. So, yeah, that, thank that's you, fair. Thank you for jumping in on such short notice, though. No, I, I, I'm happy to like genuinely. Yeah. Like life is practically incomplete without a D and D campaign for me. Like I've had one for like the past two years now. Ah, okay. It was great. All right. And I don't have it anymore because I'm graduated. Well, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.